how many genders are there? I don't know. I just got here. Don't drop it. She's gonna eat it. Come on. The f did you say to me? Oh, I'm feeling better than ever. Are you all right? Yes, I'm all right. Are you racist? Am I what? What? What are you? What are you think of these people now? Why? Why you stay you here? Said, are you racist? Am I racist? Yeah. No, I'm not a racist. Why do you ask that? Well, why? Why? Is why is it that people who stand up for America and who want to protect our own borders? Why are we always trying to be backed up with the racist thing? I'm standing here with a black man. If I was a racist, are this is racist? my brother right here. That's a dumb question to ask. You're asking that question so you can use it on your program to make him look like a racist. Why don't you ask me am I racist? Because I'm black, right? I love America too, and I think these illegal aliens need to be shipped back to their country. So uh, why is that racist? You are racist for asking him that question. Thank you, Jesse. And you're Thank only you. doing it because he's white, and that's what you're going to show on, on your report tonight. You shouldn't play that kind of game. What kind of, that's a dumb question. Shame on you. You should be ashamed of yourself. Yeah. One of the other major issues that the legislature has been dealing with is the issue of transgenderism and LGBTQ rights. Um, would you say that a, a transgender woman could uh, give birth or, or, or uh, get an I, abortion? I, I am not a doctor. Okay. <laughs> And I think that this is this amendment speaks for itself. Uh, it is very clear on the language. Again, it goes back to medical professionals, not politicians, not elected officials, telling people what to do with their bodies and getting it interfering with it, uh, medical decisions. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. So this woman's actually running for. Well, is she a woman? We don't know. This. I don't know. What is a woman? I don't know what she is. Is she a woman? Is she a man? Who knows? I definitely don't because I'm not a doctor. But this person is basically running for office in Florida, and um, immediately I can tell you she can't be trusted in politics because she's playing a game obviously a dishonest person i mean you can't even tell me what a woman is unless you're an expert can you tell me what teeth are or do you need to be a dentist to do that my follow-up question to her would be what's the point of politicians then because by that logic politicians shouldn't decide on topics that they don't specialize in which is basically nothing that the success of britain is literally based on racism and do you think we're irredeemably sexist as well 100 percent. i think we can make progress and we can combat it but if it's but irredeemable it's you can't make progress i mean it's fighting human nature and humans are flawed. You seem, but, but you, but you, but you, humans are flawed. But you seem to think that white people yeah. are uniquely evil. I didn't say that. The white race is the most violent and oppressive force of nature on earth. No, right? no, no, no. You said whites are the most violent and oppressive people. Well, yeah. Well, that's what you said in your film. Statistics point that out too. Really? Well, yes. the Chinese were massacring Chinese and other races long before they'd ever met a white person. Till the Hun wasn't white. It's the same on the subcontinent if you go back hundreds of years as well. The genocide in Rwanda was yeah. black on black. Provide so is the Congo, which is the rape capital of the world. These things have got nothing to do with white people. This person who goes by the name Miss Bergdorf is actually born a boy called Ian. <laughs> I don't know why that's funny, but it is. And worked as a DJ. Anyway, obviously a trans activist and uh, a model, well, <laughs> apparently. Now, I saw this article. It said trans model shouldn't represent women. So it turns out there's a charity called UN Woman, and it's decided to make this person the UK champion for their woman. How, how insane is that? You've got a guy called Ian who is now representing women as your champion. It's insane. Sir. I know you're not talking to me. Are you talking to me? What? What they say? Sir. Sir? Is there a reason you're missing? You're calling me as sir? You're calling me as sir. Do I look? Do I look like a sir? Hell yes. Shit. Don't be a disrespectful person. Don't be disrespectful. You're on a public street. Well, to us, you're a fucking asshole. How about that? Okay, thank you, guys. Cool, now. What's the name of the restaurant? Hold on. Hi, is there a manager? Manager? Uh, Somebody? Someone then who's in charge of you? The guy in the front is a fucking asshole who's working at your front. You're a host. No, you're a host. I'll, I'll so is there a manager or somebody? Yeah, you're, you're Hi. Host. Your host is an asshole. I'm walking past. He's calling me a man and a sir for no reason. The guy you're in host. the front. Your host. I'm the fucking The younger one. Principal of the thing. He's an asshole. Screaming at me on the street. Thank you. You can do that. 
He's, he's you said he could do whatever he wanted to, by the way. No, he can't. I didn't think so. Yeah, thousands of people just watched that on my I'm phone. So sorry. Yeah. I'm sorry. Him, right there. How dare you! Say you're sorry, guys. No, you didn't. You no, you didn't. didn't. You're an back. asshole. Don't be a disrespectful person. Most. Fuck you. Fuck off. Watch your profanity. You. Thank you. Both of you fucking You could have said something too. You, you could have said in. something. Triple down. That's fucking. Fuck off. Kept going and that means he's a fucking asshole. Who people like me here. die fuck every shit, single right? day. People, people like me die every day because of people like you and him. Not me. So check. I, yes, you. You, you could have stopped you him and said something. You I should have did. said something well, to I him. You could have said something and helped me. So I just want to say a few things about this. First of all, he apparently misgendered you. So you went in to complain and then you came back out and pointed at him and said it's him him right there so you just assumed his gender that makes you just as bad as him if we're going to play that game also as these type of people like to say gender is a spectrum which basically means you don't know what it is you can just make it up as you go along then surely that just makes it an opinion and then everybody has one right so he can call you what he wants because gender is a spectrum right so in his in his world he might see you as a man so you have to affirm his beliefs we're just going by your logic this is the logic they made up we're just trying to figure it out as we go along anyway let's check out some comments nobody's dying every day because they're not because <laughs> they're not getting called a special word that's facts a display of infantile entitlement and narcissism by the guy claiming he's been misgendered trans activist films himself harassing employees at a restaurant because they misgendered him by calling him sir if you say you need an ID to vote, you will have unfair bias against those strata of society that don't tend to get IDs and don't want to deal with government. You don't get an ID because you want to engage with government. You get an ID because you want to drive. You get an ID because you're 21 and you want to have your first drink. You need an ID to do so much in life. Did Should right? Americans be required to have ID to vote? Chris, yes or no? No. I don't believe you want the government having even more control over who can vote and who can't. It is the lie that they tell so that they can rig our elections by having a bunch of people who are not Americans coming in and voting. You know what he just said is like a little trick out of the communist playbook basically saying we don't want to give the government more control but the funny thing is by not introducing voter ID it in turn gives the government more control because they can rig elections and gain even more power which is exactly what they want now you can't cash a check open a savings account get a job buy a car get a loan rent an apartment apply for government assistance without id so who are these people who don't have id and another thing if people don't want to deal with the government then they're not going to vote are they you can go on estrogen and it will go back It'll it doesn't that's what they tell you but it's not true and there are a lot of detransitioners who talk about the 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 uh, lifelong effects that, that lifelong, uh, okay but it's not uh, tr detransitioners women who have male pattern baldness and a lowered voice for the rest of their life and who are sterile okay. too i mean that's pretty that's tough you can't have yeah, kids and that happen okay i probably can't have kids either i have pcos so what Sh do you think we should sterilize more children it's not sterilizing kids no that is we were just it's, talking about it's really not though it's it's stopping them from going through puberty where they don't want to I go. I guess maybe we're just using different terms for the Probably. same thing. But in any case, but, I uh, appreciate your, uh, your coming on. And oh, having... I have something for you. Okay. I found it outside. <laughs> I thought you'd really like it. Is this a, uh, a fan letter? Oh, it is, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> There's a lot he, he of them was out right. there. Radical feminism did ruin my life, and it's me dressed up as, a, as an official from the Biden administration, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah, how do you know? It's not really sterilizing them, it's just preventing them from ever becoming fertile. Literal evil. You know what? I have to agree with that. You've advocated for the outright eradication of transgenderism from public life with the claim that the supposed right of confused people to pretend to be the opposite sex necessarily infringes on your right to distinguish between men and women. I'm standing here now, a biological male, wearing a dress with a pair of leggings. Do you sincerely believe that I should be subject to punitive justice on the basis of what I'm wearing? And if so, are you willing to turn yourself in for wearing women's panties in your gay college film? <laughs> well, uh, I'll take those questions in order, I guess. Uh, the first one, I, I would encourage you to, to behave as a man is what I would do. I don't think anyone who is uh, affirming your delusion is helping you. I don't think that they're actually an ally of, of yours. I think they're lying to you, and I think it's very disrespectful, and I think it will not lead to your flourishing. I think it will only immiserate you. And so uh, you, you might hate me for telling you the truth, but I think the truth will set you free. You can dress how you want, that's fine. You can live your life how you want, that's fine. 
but you can't expect other people to go along with it. And if they don't, you shouldn't care. And you definitely can't insert yourself into women's spaces. That doesn't make any sense. Why do they think that's acceptable? It's crazy. And I get annoyed hearing people talk endlessly about how we're the worst country in the world, we're the most sexist country in the world, we're the most racist country. It's all nonsense. This is one of the best places to live in the world, and that's what we should be talking about. The fact that we're... Sh yeah. 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 Shame on... Well, this is... This is exactly... This is exactly the problem that I'm talking about. You are saying shame on you for talking up Britain. And that is exactly the problem that we're talking about. Okay. This All is right. one of the best places to live in the world for minorities like me. It's the best place Wait to be a, a woman. Wait a minute. Can I just say, there's no point in shouting out for the because the, the people at home can't hear you. So, so and also, let's, not, let's try not... Hang on. Let's try not to talk over each other. I asked Constant a question. We, in fairness, I have to, to let him answer. So, we've got to Ron. stop... We've got to stop talking down our country. Okay. We've got, we've got to stop shouting over people who are talking. I've got well, two minutes expected. left, and I have to let the rest of the panel on, so let me just do that. Ron, Trans athletes were recently banned in Florida from competing in sports what with women in middle schools and colleges. Why? Do you agree or disagree? I disagree. Everyone should be equalized, you know what I'm saying? Like, if they don't want to be what they were, want to, they were born to be, they could change what they want to be, you know what I'm saying? Or they could be a redneck. If they, no, that is different because or they... Or not a redneck. No, because they hate our kind, you know, we're gay. And I've never met one single redneck that loves us. Not black first. Martin Luther King dreamed of a day when a man would no longer be judged by the color of his skin, but by the content of his character. And now we just want to judge things by the color of the skin. As a black person, every time we go along with something that's black and whack, we're agreeing with the oppressors of our ancestors that the most important thing about us is the color of our skin. And it's not. I personally like being a brother. I like my brother swag, you know what I'm saying? But guess what? If I was white, I would enjoy that just as much. I am made exactly the way God desired me to be, and I'm not in competition with anybody. So I can celebrate you, and it don't take anything from me, and I can celebrate me, and it don't take anything from you that's that's what we need more in society just people like that who are just going to be normal like i'm i'm so sick of seeing all this crazy stuff this guy's normal he's just keeping it real anyway shout out to him and shout out to anyone who got this far in the video thanks for watching thanks for all the support i love all you guys and uh i'll see you on the next one peace